diffusion plays an important role in images. It can add depth cues, soften hard shadows, or just tell us more about light in a picture. I'll use Boris Effect Optics to help build some atmosphere into my scene. In the diffusion category, I'm going to start with double fog to add some depth. Particles in the air diffuse the light, which is why objects in the far distance seem to look lower contrast than those in the front. And I'll use this idea to position my vanishing point at the back here, adjust the fog a little bit, and change the position to change where it gets applied. To make this roll off a little bit more, I'm going to add a spot mask to this layer and tweak it up a little bit so the fog falls off towards the edges. To add a little bit more texture to this fog, let's add a new layer and apply diffusion. I'll find a texture that breaks the fog up in an interesting way and then bring the brightness down a touch. We now have enough atmosphere to help me sell an even more dramatic lens flare on this street light. So I'll add another layer, come into my lights category, and I'm going to go to S lens flare. There are so many different feelings of flare that we can choose from in the presets. I'll find something I like and then maneuver it into place using the on screen widgets. In real life, the pivot point wouldn't normally change much from the center, but this isn't real life. And if I think that changing the pivot point will give me a more interesting result, then I'm absolutely going to do that. I can even change my mind and click on the presets. And a good amount of the tweaking that I've already done will actually stay in place until I find something that I think fits in. Finally, I'll add another layer and try to tie this together with a color look. I'm going to go into my film lab category and find probably my favorite effect here, film stocks. If these presets are a little bit heavy for you, why not just reduce the opacity of the layer and see if that helps out. We can even change the blending mode on the layer to maybe something like overlay or soft light. In this way, we get the feeling of the color and contrast without it being overwhelming. I'll find one that I like, play with the opacity and maybe make any small changes that I need to in the other effects. And then when we're happy, we can see the transformation that we've made. And that's how we can build up atmosphere in our landscapes, even our urban landscapes with Boris Effects Optics. To learn more about optics, subscribe to the Boris FX YouTube channel or head over to the Boris FX training pages at borisfx.com where you'll also be able to download a free trial version of optics.